I'm here in Glasgow today announcing uh, the final stage of the abolition of the right to buy. Uh, the right to buy is a policy that time has passed. The circumstances we face today are very different to those that prevailed when right to buy was introduced. There's enormous pressure on the social housing stock, there's pressure on budgets. We've got 400,000 people across Scotland on social housing waiting lists. We also support people into home ownership in different ways. So getting rid of the right to buy will help us protect more houses for social rent so that those who can't afford to buy still are able to aspire to live in good quality homes. Well, at a time when we've got a lot of pressure on social housing, uh, we really, really welcome this announcement from the Scottish Government that they're going to finally scrap right to buy. Uh, this policy has seen almost 450,000 homes across Scotland sold into the private sector, lost for people in need. So we really, really welcome this announcement today. Well, this is really going to help people who are on the waiting list because we've got about 160,000 households on waiting lists across Scotland at the moment. We have 40,000 people people officially assessed as homeless, 10,500 families in temporary accommodation. For all those people, today is really good news. I've been living at Queen's Cross for a year and a half. Previously, a lot of the bigger houses were bought and um, I think maybe that's why um, I wasn't given a house quicker than I could have been. Um, I think it will help people get off the waiting list a lot quicker. Well, there's a range of different ways now that we can help people into home ownership. None of these existed when Right to Buy was introduced, so we've got a range of shared equity schemes in place just now. Uh, we recently announced £120 million for a Help to Buy scheme. So it's right that government does what it can in an appropriate way to help people who do aspire to home ownership. But it's also really important that government protects and provides good quality housing for people who can't afford to own their own home, and that's what ending the Right to Buy is all about.